YouTube. What is up? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, the sneaker fiend. How you guys doing? Comment down below. Just let me know how your day's going, your week. What's your latest pickup? Comment that down below. I'd love to know. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you can stay notified of all my videos. Pushing out fire content all the time. Now today, we got the Crimson Tint Face Off. You got the highs versus the mids. Which one's better? We're gonna get into it. Let's get it. Hmm. Now, I decided I'd cop both the high crimson tint Jordan ones as well as the mid version. We're gonna go over all the details, quality, pricing, all that good stuff, and determine which one is better. All right. So to start it off, we got the boxes. You got your black standard Jordan box. So unlike the Jordan one, where you got that Nike on the top, all four sides, makes it very easy to tell where your Jordan ones are. Got some over there, one right there. And honestly, when it comes to the boxes, mids versus highs, the Jordan high takes this by far, just a nicer looking box. Definitely like the how it has the full lens. Yeah, so when it comes to the box, Jordan one high, in my opinion, easy knockout to get to the sneakers where it really counts first off we're going to talk about quality when it comes to quality we also have to put in the price so this is going to be price and quality 160 for your jordan ones 120 for the mids first off i just want to say this jordan one right here is really nice quality compared to a lot of other high top versions so it kind of has a slight advantage right off the bat just that Nice Jordan 1 tumbled leather. Quality on here is insane. I absolutely love the quality. As for the mids, it's standard. It, it really is. It's standard quality, even for mid. Like there's mids with way better quality than this. And usually mids never even have as nice a quality as the highs. Now there has been some really crappy quality on a Jordan 1 high and really good quality on a Jordan 1 mid. In this instant, this case, uh, the mids just, they're not doing it. The leather isn't that nice. The suede isn't that nice. Really cheap Jordan brand material. This is 120. 160, 120. You're saving 40 bucks going with this. I'm trying not to be biased. I really am. I'm trying not to be biased, but I'm gonna have to go with the high because the quality, I'm willing to pay 40 extra bucks for this leather. Like, look at that tumble leather. Absolutely love the quality on this sneaker. This is, sorry, man, you're gonna have to go. Jordan 1 takes it again. So these both are crimson tint colorways. So as we're talking about the colorway, the color patterns, the whole color scheme of the sneakers, which one does better. I'm actually trying not to make this like a battle between the two. I really wanna compare. So. On the highs, you got a black and really like a peach pink type colorway. Whereas the mids, it looks like a band-aid. Looks like a white and like a band-aid color, like colorway with some very vibrant neon pink colors. And to be honest, I feel like they could have done a lot better with this by taking out the neon pink and just keeping it with this like crimson pink type color. But that's just me, that's my opinion. So again, the Jordan 1 high is taking this one easily. Now the models themselves being a high versus a mid is really just a pick and choose. What you prefer personally would pick the high top. As you can tell, not much of a height difference, but there's still a difference. To me, on feet, I just really like the high top version better than the mids. It seems to fit my foot more correct. The mids, they almost, being lower, they kind of give me like an SB vibe, kind of like an SB dunk. And they seem more bulky, 
Whereas this just seems to fit the foot perfect for me and it's just my style. Overall, the crimson tint colorway in the mid and the high top version, both aren't that bad. I'm definitely picking these over the mids all day. Easy, not even close. These I sold, they're going out, and I'm gonna stick with these. They are too clean to pass up, in my opinion. I actually did make reviews on both of these shoes. I made a review and a lace swap video of this shoe. Super dope, go check it out. I also made a review on this where I went further in depth on the quality, price point, everything, just mainly sticking to this shoe itself. So if you wanna go check that out, you can do so. What do you guys think? Do you prefer highs over mids? And when it comes to these two right here, this colorway, which one did a better job? Let me know, comment down below. It's your boy Breezy Kicks, Sneaker Fiends, I'm out.